the future, I'd say, is pretty grim. Bills don't seem to be getting paid right now. <laughs> right now, I don't have the money for the phone bill. We really don't like to talk about money. If you don't care, I don't care, and I think that's how it kind of got out of hand. What are you doing? It's either that or I have to file for bankruptcy. Karina, my husband Jay. We have um, a soon to be 16 year old boy and a five year old girl, Hannah. I'm a medical administrator at um, a hospital. I make uh, $14 an hour. Um, been working in the kitchen for about 20 years. We've been doing this, you know, poor financial planning for a very long time. We don't have any emergency fund or anything like that. No car, no big assets. We're never sitting down together actually looking through the bills, no. That's a big part of the problem. She likes to talk about it and then she gets rather excited about it. <laughs> and when I'm stressed out, I'm miserable, don't touch me, don't like, leave me alone. I don't go out and have too much fun. Maybe uh, get to relax with a couple of beers after work, that's about it. I don't mind if you go and have a beer, but a beer or two, not like six beers. You have a family at home waiting for you and we don't have the money for you to do that. This would be perfect for Jordan. We might have to wait till next year. Eventually, hopefully, <laughs> everything will get paid. He doesn't have a plan and he doesn't he doesn't know where the money's gonna come from and so the fact that he just kind of fluffs it off and is very easy going about it is very frustrating. I'm just more of a day-to-day -day guy. Without Gail's help, I think it would just be a vicious circle. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Together for 18 years, Karina and Jay are $16,000 in debt. The payday loans they started using five years ago charge crippling interest. And if I don't stop the bleeding, they're headed for bankruptcy. John Faz Oxley, nice to meet you. I'm nice Jay. You. Nice to meet you. Karina and Jay rent their suburban home and do a pretty good job of making life comfortable for their family on a modest income. It's a tiny house, but it's like a tiny, perfect little house, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. You don't have loads and loads of stuff. No. But everything's comfy and cozy, and the yes. kids look very cozy in their yes. rooms. So why don't we start by you telling me why I'm here? We're a little scrambled. We don't uh, make the time to kind of sit down and go over finances together much. So we kind of need someone to kind of help us see maybe how the money is being squandered in places that... <laughs> Squandered, we, and yeah. then she looks at you. Well, no, I think it's kind of both of us. I can't really blame too much, you know. I mean, a little bit of both. So primarily it's a management thing? I think so. Yeah. See, I see much more than that. You know I went through all your finances, and I looked at your tapes. I see a couple that really love each other. It just radiates. But you just don't get to spend that much time together. Karina would be here at night and I'll be here in the day, so we hardly ever see each other. It doesn't help that they work separate shifts. Karina's feeling isolated while she tries to hold it together, and Jay just doesn't see what the problem is. I have a sense that you are just totally reconciled to the fact that you will be in debt for the rest of your lives. And so you can't understand why she's getting upset over it, because it's just the way it is. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. The first thing I'm going to show you is going to take your breath away. You spend almost $140 in bank charges for a single month. What are you doing? Yes, you go to any old machine mm -hmm. and take some money out and you pay $1.50 or $1.50 or $1.50 or $1.50. Mm -hmm. or $1 .50. Or $1.50. Yeah. This has got to stop. Now, here's the thing that I hate to see on a bank statement. Bouncing a check. That's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Once. Twice. Three times. 
That's 90 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's a nice dinner out and a good movie. Yeah. There's another problem that you're having, a very serious problem. You have some pay advances that yes. are outstanding. Yes. I want to show you something that I found. If I borrowed $1,500 on the 23rd of the month, mm -hmm. then on the 30th of the month I'd have to pay back $1,727. The cost to borrow for one week was $227. And if I did it every week for a year, on a $1,500 loan, I would pay $11,800 in interest. This is actually a travesty. Pay the advances start a terrible cycle for people with cash flow problems. Once you've paid back what you borrowed, plus ridiculous interest, you're even further behind next payday. You're spending $1,700 a month more every month than you make. And if I told you that five years down the road, you're looking at about $150,000 in debt. Is that enough to scare your pants off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Karina and Jay are not alone. Plenty of couples are drowning in debt because of crippling interest. I'm going out on a limb to see if I can help them with their worst debt. If they can live up to my challenges, I'll give them up to $5,000. So are you prepared to commit to doing whatever I need you to do? Yes. To get out of this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So as we move forward, we're going to do it in three specific things, three points. The first is we're going to make sure the banking is all straightened out. Then we're going to deal with the debt. And thirdly, we're going to get you guys working together so that as we move forward, you become this really solid team that knows what's going on and can actually stand behind each other. But the very first thing you're going to have to do is give me your credit cards and your debit cards. So go get them now. Coming up, I become one of Karina and Jay's creditors. You owe me. Big. With bills in collection and garnished wages, Karina and Jay have made quite a mess. Within the next two days, or they're disconnected. Never was in debt until kids come along. It just slowly adds up. Their lack of discipline with money has even led them to use payday advances. This is actually a travesty. It was the biggest mistake we ever made. And they're falling further behind every month. You're spending $1,700 a month more than you make. They're going to hell in a handbasket, so now they're going to have to play by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. Before I could construct a proper budget for these two, we had to deal with the most damaging credit habit of all. Thousands of dollars in interest spent on pay advance loans. It got to the point maybe about five years ago where we had to start going to payday loan places. Now on payday, we're paying like $200 each interest for money that we borrowed to get to the next payday kind of thing, so. Now that we've gotten rid of these, what would you say is your biggest problem? Payday loans. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad to hear you say that <laughs> because I have for you a check for $1,500. It is a loan against future earnings. You owe me big. That'll take care of the amount outstanding and break the cycle. I've never done this before, and if I'm wrong, I'll be out 1,500 bucks. But I think they're worth the risk. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna cry or throw up because it's just such a big relief to know that now finally when we get a paycheck, it'll be ours. As you know, a budget is made up of two parts. Mm -hmm. There's your fixed expenses, your rent, things we can't do anything about. And there are your variable expenses, the money I can squeeze to make it fit into the jars. I'm cutting the budget for your variable expenses by 40%. Yeah, 40%. That's 40% less beer. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have $1,100 a month. And each week you will have $10 for other incidentals. You will have $150 for food. You will have $31.25 for entertainment, $17 for clothes, and you will have $75 for transportation. 
to track what you're spending. When you bring home a receipt for $50 and you put it in the food jar, you'll deduct it off that 150 so you know you only have 100 left. $5 can't disappear on this right. and $20 disappear on that. It'll all get tracked and now you'll know where the money's going. Okay? Okay. So Jay and Karina, this is your challenge for this week. A life lesson challenge. And you two are gonna get real. Okay, so Karina, what I'd like you to do this week is I'd like you to consolidate all your bank accounts so we don't have this busyness of transferring money around. And you have the best account with the lowest possible fees and that it's all organized and you're tracking what's coming in and what's going out. There's no question about, do we have the money? Mm -hmm. Will it bounce? Okay. okay? Yeah. And Jay, while she's doing this, she's gonna need some help around the house. So this week, I'd like you to do the grocery shopping and this plays into that whole idea of you not really understanding where the money's going. So now you get an opportunity to see, okay? There's gonna be two different accounts, one for a savings and one for mostly um, quite a bit of transactions. So I'm just trying to save some fees. I was looking for something with unlimited transactions so we could, you know, use that and not get charged for it. That works, thank you very much for your time. I think we saved about 15, 16 dollars, so. It was definitely worth it. I forgot a couple of things, but I was a little bit rushed. <laughs> you gotta go to the washroom? Uh -huh. I don't know where the washroom is in this place. Ay, ay, ay. Did you manage to get to the end of the week before you got to the end of the money? Yes. Did it feel good, sort of knowing that you were keeping track of everything as yeah, you went? Yeah, absolutely. I, I would do something and I'd get the receipt, put it in the jar right away, and then write it in the book. It was good. like I wanted to keep, you know, yeah. up with what I was doing, so. How was your week? Not too stressful. No? No. Did you miss anything? Of course. Yes. <laughs> it will be worth it in the end. This week, you have an even harder challenge. This is a debt reduction challenge, and we're going to do a credit cleanup. I want you to get in touch with all your creditors okay. and negotiate with them and try to get your interest rate down okay. and try and work out a repayment schedule that gets you paid off. You have a credit card, for example, mm -hmm. that effectively is charging you over 80% interest. Let me show you how. The finance charges are at 21.9%. The monthly member fee is another 9%. The over limit fee is 43.61%. And the account balance premium is 12.44%. And when you add it up, it's almost 87% interest. It may mean finding another card and doing a balance transfer. Okay. But when you're paying 87% interest, you can't ever make payments big enough to get yourself out of the to hole. Get out. Okay? Which brings us to you, Jay. If we're going to solve this problem, we have to get rid of this debt really fast. I need you to find a way to make an extra $300 a month that we can apply directly to your debt. If you get $300 extra a month, I promise you can have a beer. <laughs> Coming up, Karina learns to play hardball. It's either that or I have to file for bankruptcy. <laughs> Struggling against outrageous interest rates from creditors and pay advance loans, Corinne and Jay just keep sinking deeper into the hole. What are you doing? We are getting killed with that. <laughs> when your bills are behind and you don't have the money to go out, and it's very draining. I've been teaching them that there's a way out. I have made you a budget that will balance. Really? <laughs> with our money? <laughs> I've challenged them to drop their bad banking habits negotiate with creditors, and make more money to pay down their debt. If they can live up to my challenges, I'll give them up to $5,000. I was hoping you could help me regarding lowering my interest rates. It's now gone to collections. The payments that I have right now, they're just too high. I can't afford to make those payments. $150 a month, but that would be the absolute maximum. It's either that or I have to file for bankruptcy. You spend all these years worrying about how you're going to pay off your debt and then you make one phone call and they go, oh, 
oh, sure, no problem. 10% it is. And you're like, oh. I'm going to work a couple hours early, pick up some extra money. <laughs> a couple of things are tough, and I've been at work for a week, so getting tired. The longer shifts, killing me. How did your week go? Very good. We were completely on budget and still had a little bit of money left over. Did you um, talk down the creditors? Yes. We did. Tell me. I was so excited. <laughs> they asked me to send them six post-dated checks. Yeah. And after the first three months, they said that they're going to completely write off the interest. Give me five! <laughs> so everything after that will just be directly put into the principal. And then Jay made his call and he... You did? Yeah. My credit card... Uh, interest rate was 19.75 and yeah. they dropped that down to 10 percent would you have ever done that um, if i hadn't said like, to do it no and i think that had we known that <laughs> like that years ago <laughs> like how much money we would have saved there are plenty of credit card products offering lower interest rates these days just threatening to take your business elsewhere could get you a reduced interest rate so, <laughs> that having been accomplished... Uh -oh. <laughs> We're not going to be so happy any longer. I have another challenge for you. Okay. You have a birthday coming up. Want to do something special because he's turning 16? Yes. So, you know what? I've found a way for you to have some fun, learn something, and accomplish a challenge all in one fell swoop. Cool. And it's about getting creative. Okay. In this envelope, I have $100. You have to plan a birthday party for your son. Mm -hmm. You have to make the birthday cake together. Okay. And you have to be as creative as you can in meeting what you think his needs will be for the birthday party. Okay. He decided he wants to do barbecue. And he wants to invite some friends. And I was just thinking like hot dogs and hamburgers. He said, don't go crazy with like lots and lots of food because it'll go to waste. What do you need? A whole bunch of munchy stuff now. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Blue and white balloons. Banners, flags, whatever and a can of spray paint to spray paint a big 16 in the backyard. You gotta bake the cake. I need three eggs. The past couple of years, I don't think he's had a party. It hurts more so with the kids that I have to uh, kind of say, you know, I'm sorry, we can't afford to get that right now. You know, that'll have to wait. Not bad for our first cake, eh? <laughs> Coming up, I find out whether my investment in these two pays off. Everybody should listen to Gail. <laughs> On Karina and Jay's income, they need to be watching every dollar. But evil payday advances and bad credit choices are taking big chunks out of every paycheck. You think you have no money to start with and then they take more from you and then you have less money. Karina and Jay already feel like they're drowning. If we don't fix this now, they'll never come up for air. Five years down the road, you're looking at $150,000 in debt. I've been trying to teach Karina and Jay one of life's most important truths that being in control of the money means being in control of your future. If they can do the challenges to my satisfaction, I'll give them up to $5,000 to pay down their debt. It's your son Jordan's 16th birthday party today. It is. So how did the plan for the birthday go? Very good, yeah. Did you stay on budget? We did. So how was this whole experience for you? Enlightening. <laughs> you really do have to pay attention to the money that's coming in, and right. that's what you need to work with. It's not about credit cards, and it's not about, you know, borrowing and... and Those things you. are all just tools. Yeah. It's all how you use them. Yeah. Yeah. When I got here, you were headed $146,000 in debt in just five years. It's just like, no! No, <laughs> no. Okay, so this month, you learned Jay that you do not have to live your life in debt. There actually is a way out. We've put aside $850 a month to repay your debt. Mm -hmm. And you also learned that you can actually negotiate with your creditors. It's a tight budget, and it won't be easy. But if Jay and Karina continue to save the money we've set aside in their budget, they'll have over $150,000 when they retire. Do you feel good? Yes. In yes. control? Yes have a sense that now it's your destiny and you can do something with it? Yeah, yeah. I'm a little scared about you leaving, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come for monthly visits just to make sure. <laughs> you've worked very hard and you've pulled together and you've done all the things you were supposed to do. And so I have for you a check 
for $5,000. Woo woo! All right. So the very first thing you're going to do is write me a check. Yes. To cover off what I lent you. That's right. To get rid of the payday advances. That's right. Thank you. But I have something else for you too. Six months at a local community recreation center for you and the family so that you can have fun together. Won't cost you anything for the first six months. <sighs> you can just have a great time. Oh, okay. that's All right. so good. Once they apply this money to the balance of their debt and continue making the payments we've established in their budget, they'll be debt free in one year. To know that like after a year, you know, if not sooner, if we really work hard at it, um, well, we won't have any debt is an amazing, amazing feeling. So um, those jars are going nowhere. <laughs> You're welcome. I think this is probably our, our biggest challenge, I think, that we had, you know, in the 18 years that we've been together. Just learn to be cautious with uh, the money that you have and maybe listen to your wife a little bit about, you know, how much money that you do have. <laughs> wow!